Hey guys, welcome back to Arky RC. So if you watched my last video, which was just a quick update video, you saw that I picked up a used Typhon Grom. This is the BLX, the brushless version. And when I got that car, it ended up coming with two, uh, two of these Spectrum Smart batteries. You notice there's no balance lead on these. Um, the plug itself has kind of this third wire that you're not used to usually seeing on the, on the main lead, the main battery lead. And so uh, I didn't want to buy another charger uh, just for this one car. So I wanted to use my, my normal chargers that I usually have. I went ahead yesterday and took one of those batteries and made it a dumb battery. So I can use uh, my regular charger on it. I went ahead and put a Dean's connector on there. And so I thought I would go ahead and show you guys how I did that. I know a lot of people are wondering, can you make these, these batteries into a, a dumb battery? And so all there really is inside of this is a chip. And you just need to remove the chip and then uh, add a balance lead to it. And redo some of the wiring inside and it's, it's not really that difficult so I'm gonna jump into it and show you guys how I did it all right so before we get started just a quick disclaimer anytime you work with a lithium battery you got to be careful if you short anything out on these these things are known to, to go up in flames but when you're soldering these you're gonna have a soldering iron and you're gonna be kind of close to the uh, the battery leads that are on the inside of this so be very very careful uh, when you're working on these so anyway let's go ahead and get started okay the first thing you're gonna have to do is take this thing apart it comes apart pretty easily Pry that up and there you go. Nothing to them to come right apart. The next thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to pry this battery, the, the soft pack out of this, this case here. And it's on there pretty good. There is a sticker on the bottom of that, like a double-sided sticky tape, kind of like a piece of foam tape that's holding that in there. This is a, a plastic scraper. So I'm just gonna try to gently pry that off there. You can hear it coming off there. Just kind of working from both sides, being careful not to, you don't wanna puncture that battery. Okay, it's coming off of there. There we go. Should come out of there. You could use a screwdriver here, but it's metal, and if you puncture these, I don't know what's going to happen. So this works really well to get in there. All right, so there we have. You can see that tape that's on there. So on the inside of that, there's some glue in there. I don't know if you can... Oh, the camera's going to pick it up. There's some glue in there, like some hot glue. There we go. Okay, so the, the battery is basically loose from the case. Although the, the, the plug is too big for this little hole that's in the case, so you'll have to cut these wires uh, right here to get them off. But I'm going to first go ahead and kind of disassemble all this crap that's on this battery here. This little piece of plastic here is just a kind of a protector for the wires. You're going to have to cut that off. We'll just go ahead and use a pair of scissors here to just make sure you're not cutting through any wires here. Okay, just gently cut that off there. That should come off no problem. Might be glued a little bit on there. There we go. That comes right off there. Got that piece off of there. You can see that here's the battery. It's basically just a 2S LiPo. And you have a the smart chip is right here at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and start pulling this tape off of here. So we can have it, so we can get access to that chip. Tape comes off there pretty easily. Just pry this yellow tape off of here. Be careful though. You don't want to. Don't want to ruin the battery or anything like that. So just kind of be careful. Use caution when you're pulling this apart. It's coming loose here. You see that chip is right there. All right, there we go. All right, so you see we've got our smart chip exposed there. So we're going to go ahead and start unsoldering all this. All right, before I proceed any further, just give you a quick review of this battery here, what we got going on. So we have two... A 2S battery, so we've got one cell and we've got two cells, and these are wired together in, uh, in series to make a total of 7.4 volts. So each one of these batteries is 3.7 volts. And so what we're going to do is we're going to disconnect this, this uh, smart circuit board here, and then we're going to attach our charging lead to the various points on there. Uh, the red will go with the red, and the black will go on this black, and then on this blue one here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start unsoldering these. But first, I'm going to go ahead and clip the plug off of here. Now, do not take your wire snips and cut both of these at the same time because you will get a spark. So what I like to do is just take one, cut this one. Okay, that's, that's your positive. I'm going to put a piece of tape on that. I don't want that shortened out against one of the negative ones. So I'm going to just put a small piece of electrical tape on that just to keep everything safe. Okay, this way when I'm working with it, and if I, well, I'm pulling it through and if it hits that negative wire, it's not going to create a spark. Okay. These other two, you can just go ahead and cut those. Okay. Throw your clip away, your plug away there. 
Now you can pull those wires right out of that case there. I'm gonna set this on a piece of paper so that it might make it a little easier to see in the video. Okay, I got my soldering iron hot, and we're gonna go ahead and start unsoldering some of these wires. Now I'm gonna, I, I don't wanna heat this up a lot. I just wanna heat this up just enough to, get, to remove the, uh, the power leads to this circuit board. I've got my iron set up to 480, so it's pretty hot. And again, when you're working on this, be careful that you're not crossing anything. You're not, you're not shorting anything out. Here we go. Okay, that one's disconnected. All right, now I'm going to turn it around. Now, this is the positive one, so I'm going to be careful as I'm uh, unsoldering this, but I'm going to go ahead and get the red off of this one. Okay, there we go. All right, now this blue one here, I'm going to go ahead and unsolder that one. All right, so that chip is completely off of there. Okay, so now what we're left with is just basically a battery with a, uh, a positive and a negative wire on there. Again, the orange one is positive, the black one is obviously negative. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna strip back our wire on our balance port lead here. And we're gonna go ahead and start soldering that to this battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna flex these wires and then I'm gonna go ahead and put some solder on there so they're already primed and ready to go. Okay, so you can see those wires, they're nice and ready to go. They got some solder on them. So we're gonna to have to go ahead and put this through the case. If you don't, you're gonna to have to unsolder them. So make sure you put this through the case. Just like that. All right, while you're at it, you might as well go ahead and get this foam off the inside of this case and then off of the battery there. So go ahead and just use your finger to scrape that stuff off of there. All right, doesn't have to be perfect. Good enough. Okay, these wires are gonna eventually have to go through that case too. But for right now, we don't need to put those in there. But we're gonna go ahead and solder this red wire to the orange wire. All right. Okay, that's on there nice and tight. Good solder joint. You know, these are kind of hard to, to solder because they're, they're pretty small little uh, solder points there. I don't want to heat that up enough to where I'm popping this wire off. I just want to heat it just enough to solder that red wire on there. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and solder the next wire lead to the battery here. The negative one. And I'm not using any, any extra solder here. There should be enough in the wire and then on the battery uh, to make a good connection. All right, that's on there. Now we're we'll going to go ahead and solder the last one on to the negative lead right here. Okay, that's on there nice and tight. So that is done. The balance lead is on there. So we're going to go ahead and feed all this through that hole there. Again, being careful not to touch the, the, uh, the positive and the negative together. I have a tight fit. All right, so we got that through there. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put some double-sided sticky tape right there and there and, and stick it to the inside of this cover. All right, after a half hour of struggling, I finally got the back of that tape off of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that down inside the battery here. these wires through it's kind of a tight mess in there there we go okay stick that down in there okay I got my hot glue gun fired up here I'm gonna go ahead and secure the wires inside with some hot glue just to keep them from wanting to pull through okay while that hot glue gun is heating up I'm gonna go ahead and check my balance lead here just to make sure everything looks right everything's connected so I've got 3.78 volts there and I got 7.8 Five, five volts there so that is hooked up correctly and I'm not going to check these because you know I didn't undecide those so those should be good to go I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to secure these wires in here with some hot glue you don't probably have to do this but to me it helps to uh, keep these wires from popping from pulling through All right, that's probably good enough okay with that we're going to go ahead and put our case back together here should just snap right back together. There we go. Uh, the last step is to go ahead and 
uh, solder your wire onto these. Now again, this is positive, this is negative. I'm going to go ahead and use Dean's connectors on this one. Um, if you're using something else, just make sure you're, you're soldering the, the positive where the positive is supposed to be and the negative where the negative is supposed to be. If you don't do that right, um, you'll soon find out when you plug it into your ESC. All right, guys, here comes the real test. I've got it hooked up to the charger. Nothing started smoking, so that was a good sign. Let's, uh, let's see if she'll take a charge here. Okay, looks like she's taking a charge just fine, which means everything in there is hooked up right. So I'm gonna call this one done. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked the video. And if you guys have ever wondered if you could take one of these smart batteries and make them a dumb battery and use it with one of your normal chargers as opposed to the Spectrum charger, you definitely can, and it's not that hard. So don't be, uh, just take your time, be careful, and you can do it. Nobody, If I can do it, anybody can do it, right? So guys, if you liked the video, please hit the like button, and please subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.